post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is an increasingly diagnosed mental health condition affecting people of, of all ages. More and more research is being done on the longer term impacts of PTSD. I'm Joseph, a psychiatrist working for ePsychiatry. Today I'm going to talk about the complications of PTSD. There are timestamps here if you would like to skip ahead. Overlap with anxiety and depression. Sometimes the symptoms of PTSD are so debilitating that depression develops. Some people with PTSD may feel detached or disconnected from friends and family. Feeling alone, uh, lacking social contact can result in depression. People with PTSD may no longer be able to do things they once enjoyed because of flashbacks or hypervigilance. If a keen sailor can no longer go out to sea, he may become depressed due to his situation. PTSD has been linked to alcohol and other substance use. One of the key symptoms of PTSD is hypervigilance or feeling on edge. People with PTSD describe to their therapist finding it hard to relax or calm down. This can lead to people using alcohol or other substances like painkillers to relax or even to help them fall asleep. If you have PTSD, it is important to seek treatment soon to avoid the possibility of developing these complications. PTSD, as we mentioned in our earlier video on how PTSD affects you, can have wide-ranging personal impacts or social complications. Take, for instance, your job. Having therapy for PTSD is time-consuming and sometimes triggering, which can impact your work. People with PTSD describe trouble with concentration and attention. If you are a traffic controller, if your attention or concentration is impaired, you are more likely to make an error at your job. PTSD impacts those close to us. We may get snappy with the kids or our sex drive might be impacted if we have experienced sexual violence or we may want to distance ourselves from others. These can be some of the broader social or indirect impacts of PTSD. It is important to prevent these broader complications by getting help for your PTSD. Speak to your GP about getting a referral to see a psychologist or a psychiatrist. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching this video.